look at how we can start a meeting direct from Hangouts Meet. So we go to meet.google.com to get to this page here. You'll see here if anything is scheduled, but we want to just start a meeting. So if we click on this, we can give it a nickname. So let's call it uh, 12TO2020. Continue, and this will begin our meeting for us. We can then join the meeting, or we can direct present to the meeting. Let's go join the meeting, and it will start the meeting through here. Now, when the meeting starts, this pops up. So it has a meeting nickname. We can copy that and give it to students, and they can type it in at that first screen. So when it pops up, you can add that but that can only be used within your domain. Down here is a link. We can copy that and we can use that to join this meet as well. So we can click here and simply copy the joining info. We can direct add people by name or by email to invite them into this meet. Now, once we have this nickname set up, we can come back to it many times and rejoin. So we can copy our joining info and we can then use that joining info on Google Classroom via email or via a calendar. So if I have, I have copied that link, if I go to my classroom, if I go create some material, I would put the title up here. I would spell it correctly. I'll put my description in here. Maybe I might add some questions. Think about this. What about this? Have a read of something and come back to it. I may add a document I've already got. So there might be some questions. There might be something to read. There might be something to look at before we start this video chat. Now, if I go to link, I copy the link on the other page. I'm just going to paste that in to this here. So like I've got the wrong one. Let's cancel that. Okay, so let's go back to my meet. Let's copy my joining info we can grab here. We can go back to here. We can go add a link. We can then paste it in and add that link. So now we have the correct link copied. So our, our meet code is there. If we click on that, it will take us direct into the Google Meet at the right time. Now we can then post this to our classroom. We can choose a topic to add to it. If we have no topic, it will sit at the top of the screen, at the top of the uh, classwork stream. We can add the classroom we're going to add it to. We can choose which students who want to be involved with this. So if I decide it's part of the Lego City rebuild work, I'll put it there. I can go up to post, I can also drop this down, and I can schedule it. So if I want this video chat to happen on Wednesday, perhaps I'll post it on Tuesday evening. So it's not sitting around waiting for a long time. So that's the way we can then post to our classroom, called video chat for Wednesday. You can see here it is here. If we click on that, there is our link. So that's a way you can get the direct link from Meet and put it straight into your classroom. Or if you're going, sending the students straight to meet.google.com, when they get there, they can add this to that first page. So if I'm looking back here, if I decide I'm going to end this, I'm going to go to my home screen. In here, when we click on this, if we write TGS 12 go 2020 and go continue that will take us into that meeting that we set up that link for when we're in the meeting we can choose to present our screen to the meeting with all our students in it so that's a way you can direct add or you can give a direct link to a hangouts meet add that link to your google classroom or via email to allow the students to come in whenever you want them to have a video chat and of course you can reuse this code over and over again so it could just sit there at the top of your google classroom so let's drop it out of meet 
back into our classroom so we can click in through there or we can look at it on our calendar as well. So I hope that helps. It's a way of bringing the students in from the outside, doing some distance learning with Google Classroom. Of course, when you post something, you can post all sorts of things with it that the students can get to before or during that video chat. Hope that helps.